Okay, something's wrong here. I'm, I'm ringing this bell. I'm taking the tambourine. And I'm really having trouble hearing them. What? Why? Why, why is it not working out like it should be? I don't know why I can't hear them. Oh, 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 I forgot. I forgot. I, I had these headphones on here. And, and they were affecting my ability to hear. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, now, now I can hear that. Since I took those headphones off, now I can hear this bell. It's as clear as a bell. Hey, did you ever hear the phrase to, as clear as a bell? Well, what does it mean? Well, it means that it's very easy to hear, very easy to understand, and very clear, just like this bell is now right in my ear. You know, we could say, hey, with these new headphones, you'll be able to hear music as clear as a bell. Or, hey, I fixed the radio, so now all the stations come in as clear as a bell. Or we could say, you know, through the walls, I could hear the neighbors talking just as clear as a bell. Or we could say, hey, thanks for giving me those directions. They're as clear as a bell. I won't have any questions. So where did this phrase, as clear as a bell, come from? Well... Years ago, there were large bells that were hanging in church steeples, and some churches still have those large bells, or at the fire hall, or at the school, and those large bells were often used to announce important events, like calling people to meet together, or to inform them of emergencies. You know, and those big bells would go bing, ding, ding. Well, those bells were large and loud, and their sound could be heard from a great distance. And so there's, they would bring out a message that was distinctive, um, and it was not confusing. So somebody at one time said, that message is as clear as the bell. We hear what you're saying, as clear as the bell. You know, it's important to listen to each other, and it is important to speak clearly and openly. When listening to God, it's very helpful to listen carefully. And God has told us some very important things in the Bible. And so when we read the Bible, we want to make sure we're listening to what God is saying to us. Psalm 119, there's a verse that says this, When your words are made clear, they bring light. They bring understanding to childish people. When God's words are listened to, they are clear as a bell, and they bring light and understanding. In Proverbs 20, a verse says, The Lord directs a person's steps. So how can anyone understand their own way? Yeah, sometimes it's difficult for us to stand, understand our own thinking even. We need to be sure to listen for God's direction so that we can understand it. Psalm 19, the law of the Lord is perfect. It gives us new strength. The laws of the Lord can be trusted. They make childish people wise. So we want to make sure that we are listening to God's good words so that we know the right thing to do. And we also want to listen carefully to other people so that we do not misunderstand them. You know, if I had my headphones on and you were talking to me, I might think you're saying something totally different than what you were really saying. Or if I'm interrupting you while you're talking, I may miss your point of what you're trying to say. Proverbs 18, 13 says, to answer before listening is foolish and shameful. Wow. We want to make sure to listen to others, and we want to make sure to listen to God's instructions and guidance for us, because it will be very helpful for us. I like this verse from Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. You will hear your teacher's voice behind you. You will hear it whether you turn to the right or whether you turn to the left. And the voice will say, here is the path I want you to take. So walk on it. You know, God's guidance, God's voice can be as clear as a bell for us. We just have to listen. I want to listen to God's voice, and I want to listen for God's voice. So I need to make sure that I'm able to hear it, because when I hear what God is telling me, it will be as clear as a bell. Today, take some time to read the Bible. Maybe pray to God and maybe listen to what he is telling you through his Holy Spirit into your heart and into your mind. And I hope that it's as clear as a bell. And also listen to your friends today. The words they have to say are very, very important. So have a day filled with joy and a day filled with peace and good listening.